If you are not able to make enough vacuum in your milking system, a good place to start is by making sure your internal and external vacuum pump filters are clean and not obstructed by any debris. First, we'll remove the swivel fitting off of the vacuum pump with a 9 16th inch wrench. This particular pump is missing the filter material in the external vacuum line filter, so there's a good chance the internal filter has debris. Make sure there is always filter material in this filter as it is much easier to clean than the internal filter which we are going to show you. In order to remove the internal filter for cleaning in the Master Cool A style 6 CFM pump, we will need to remove either the basic exhaust or the oil mist eliminator. In this example, we are showing how to remove the oil mist eliminator. If you have the Master Cool B style 6 CFM pump, this step is not necessary. You will use a 9 16 inch wrench to remove the brass fitting on the oil mist eliminator. To remove the base, use a pair of channel locks and keep the oil mist eliminator upright upon removing as there is oil in the filter. Before removing this brass piece, we will need to remove the capacitor cover. To remove the capacitor cover, we are going to use a Phillips screwdriver to remove the four screws. In the ACE style Master Cool 6 CFM pump, you will need to remove the handle by loosening the set screw with an Allen wrench. In the B-style Master Cool 6 CFM pump, this step is not necessary. After the handle is removed, We can then remove the brass fitting on the pump with a crescent or adjustable wrench. You may need a second person to help if it is really tight. Once the brass fitting is removed, it will reveal the internal filter. You can use a sharp tool to carefully remove the filter for cleaning. This one is actually pretty clean. Here's an example of a dirty filter that caused the user to have vacuum issues while milking. The filter can be cleaned by using compressed air or running under some water. Now you can replace the filter and reassemble the pump. You will probably want to add some thread sealant approved for oil-based applications on the brass fitting. Use your crescent wrench to get the fitting tight and back into the correct position. Replace the handle if needed and re-tighten the handle set screw. Now you will replace the capacitor cover with the four screws. Now 
Now that we have cleaned the internal filter, we're going to show you how the external filter works. Every new system will come with a replacement bag of external filter material. These can also be ordered from a website. You can buy them from our website or you can make your own using squares of Scotch-Brite that you can cut. You'll cut squares that are about three-quarter inch by three-quarter inch and they can simply be placed into the fitting. Don't worry about trying to wash these, just replace them every month. Do not run your vacuum pump without the filter material in that fitting.